But first here at 5, honoring a fallen deputy. Local law enforcement just wrapped up a procession for 30-year-old deputy Michael Magley killed in the line of duty just yesterday. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. First tonight, we want to get right out to ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck, who's live at the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, where a memorial is growing by the minute. Sarah. Yeah, it's clear that the whole community is really impacted by this. We've watched as this memorial has grown by the minute, seeing family members, fellow law enforcement officers leaving flowers and mementos here to pay tribute to Deputy Michael Magley. And just a few hours ago, a procession made up of law enforcement from across the county escorted Deputy Magley from the medical examiner's office to a funeral home in Holiday. Yesterday afternoon, the Pinellas County Sheriff says Deputy Michael Magley was killed while trying to stop a drunk and reckless driver who is traveling on East Lake Road in Tarpon Springs. That suspect, Robert Hosefell, lost control of his truck and hit Deputy Magley. Hosefell appeared before a judge today facing felony murder, DUI, and a slew of other charges. Prior to Wednesday's crimes, he already had 16 felonies on his record. It's ridiculous that that person was out there doing what he did that ended up affecting not only the Magley family, you know, but law enforcement um, throughout the state of Florida. You know, this again, like I said, will be remembered for years, you know, for somebody making a, a horrible decision to drink and drive. Now, this is the first deputy to die in the line of duty here in Pinellas County since the agency was founded 109 years ago. Now, ahead at six, the community is coming together to really honor this deputy and to save money for his family. He was just 30 years old and leaves behind a wife and two very young daughters. And at six, I'll explain how you can help contribute to that fund. Reporting live at the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.